hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to run pop os on your virtual box now for those that don't know virtual box virtual box is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer so you can see this is our oracle vm virtual box so we have to download and install virtual box so let's head to our chrome browser and then search for virtual box now you can see the first page over here oracle vm virtual box so click on it now by the left you can see download so click on downloads and it will take you to this page so select windows host since we are using a windows machine so let's click on that and it will start downloading now after downloading you can install just like every other software i already have it installed so i don't need to download again now if you find it difficult to install check the description of this video and you will see a link to a video i made earlier on how to install virtualbox now we also have to download the image file for pop os so search for pop os and then you can see over here pop.system76.com so click on that and it will take you right here now click on download now you can see over here version 22.04 lts so let's download the version 22.04 now if you have nvidia graphics card then you should go with this option but this is the default option so let's go with that so you can see the download has been initiated and it has started downloading now i already have this downloaded so i'll cancel that so you just have to download this after installing oracle vm virtual box so now let's check out our file so you can see this is a pop os file 22.04 version and you can see i downloaded this file about two days ago so that's the latest version right now and this is our virtual box now the next thing we have to do is to create a new virtual machine and to do that click on new on virtual box over here and then let's call this pop os now change the type over here to linux and then change the version to ubuntu so let's search for that ubuntu 64 bits now next now enter the maximum amount of ram you want this machine to use now i have 16 gig of ram on my pc so i'm gonna give it let's say 4 gigs of ram now you shouldn't allocate more than 40 percent of your ram to this machine else your host computer will slow down next next create that and then select the vdi option and then next dynamically allocated next now select the maximum amount of storage you want to give to this machine now you can't give more than what you have on your drive so make sure to confirm that so i'll give this 56 gig i think that's okay and then create now you can see we've successfully created a new virtual machine and these are the specs of our new machine now we can change things here by clicking on settings and then go to system you can see the base memory which is the ram and then go to processor select the amount of cpu core you want to allocate to this machine so we'll go with three you can see the recommended section over here and then from here is not recommended so let's go with three now we can go to display and then increase the video memory 128 megabytes and then every other thing is normal so let's click on ok now we have to import the iso file now we can just start the machine and then import the iso file so let's click on start now you can see this drive icon over here so click on it and then click on add over here now this is where we are going to select the pop os file we downloaded you can see this is a disk image file click on it and then open now click on choose and then once you click on start it will initiate the installation process so let's start so now we can start the setup by selecting the language now you will notice here that there is no way to click and there is no way to select options here and that is because of the display resolution now we have to make changes to that and to do that first let's drag this from here and then right click go to display settings and then you can see the resolution over here so i will just go with 16 by 9 and then apply that now you can see it is now showing full screen so we can quit this and then drag back our installation media and then select the language over here english united states that's the keyboard format i think okay yo this is the keyboard format english us let's just continue with all that now we are going to run a clean installation and it is going to install this os directly on the drive 
this is not going to erase your main drive this is only going to erase the drive we allocated to this machine so there is nothing to be worried about so go with clean install and then click on clean install now select the drive over here as you can see you can see the storage 56 gig which we allocated erase and install now we have to enter a name for this machine so let's call this everything tech and you can see the username as well you can change this if you want next so let's choose a password for this so i will just go with 128 now make sure you use a more secure password you can see a warning here that this is too simple so let's just next now you can choose to encrypt this drive so that whenever you want to access this machine it would request for a password so i will just go with encrypt now the password you use to create the user account is what we are going to use to access the drive so we just have to wait for this entire process to finish so the installation has been completed now we have to restart the device so let's click on restart now we have to unlock our drive with the password we used hit enter now we can log in to the user account everything tech with the password as well hit enter so you can see we've successfully installed pop os on our virtual machine now let's click on next next just next and then finish up everything these are just things we can switch if we want next skip all this and then start using pop os so guys we've successfully installed pop os on our virtual machine so basically this is how to install pop os on virtualbox now you can change the display settings and then use whatever you want so you just have to check your system display resolution and then you can use that display resolution for your pop os so that it would work seamlessly if this was helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.